Good morning, everybody. My name is Dale Pello, coming to you here from First Presbyterian Church in Covington, Virginia. Starting out this morning with a reading, again by Henry Nowen from Advent and Christmas Wisdom. Small gifts, big consequences. The world likes things to be large, big, impressive, and elaborate. God chooses the small things which are overlooked in the big world. Andrew's remark, five barley loaves and two fish, but what is that among so many, captures well the mentality of a calculating mind. It sounds as if he says to Jesus, can't you count? Five loaves and two fish are simply not enough. But for Jesus, they were enough. Jesus distributed the loaves and the fish as much as they wanted. There is enough, plenty even, for everyone. There are even many leftovers. Here, are, here a great mystery becomes visible. What little we give away multiplies. This is the way of God. This is also the way we are called to live our lives. The little love we have, the little knowledge we have, the little advice we have, the little possessions we have, are given to us as gifts of God to be given away. The more we give them away, the more we discover how much there is to give away. And that's our reading today by Henry Nowen. Now for our scripture reading from John chapter 6, verse 8 through 11. One of Jesus' disciples, Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, said to him, There is a boy here who has five barley loaves and two fish, but what are they among so many people? Jesus said, Make the people sit down. Now there is a great deal of grass in the place, so they sat down, about five thousand in all. Then Jesus took the loaves, and when he had given thanks, he distributed them to those who were seated, so also the fish as much as they wanted. And now for our time of prayer together today, if you will, let us now pray. Dear Lord, just as you feed the multitudes with the loaves and fishes, feed our hungry hearts with the goodness of your word. Amen. And now our Advent, our Christmas action today. Give the gift of loving attention to others, just as Jesus' solicitude resulted in the multiplication of the loaves and fish. Notice good will, kind words, overtures to friendship, and so on. And that is our Christmas action today. Hope to see you all here tomorrow morning as well. Hope you all have a good Thursday today.